name is Kerry Murphy. His name is Toby Christie, and we call this entire thing the Final Lap Weekly. And this is the YouTube segment that we like to do each and every single week. We uh, welcome you to the channel. We appreciate every single one of you that is uh, now subscribing. Uh, tell your friends about us if they're NASCAR fans. You get just go say, hey, you got to go check these guys out. The Final Lap Weekly on YouTube. Uh, they're awesome. They they talk about stuff. And if you haven't done so yet, mash the bell right down here, man. Or mash the bell here. Or it's it's somewhere on the these. screen. It, somewhere. It, it's you know it's in the middle. Whoever does the the subscribe graphic thingy, it's kind of random, and they they just mess with us, and you know so. It's an illusion. It is. It's all an illusion. Everything is just made up. This week, oh my gosh, we've got two massive stories. Not one, but two. See how we're doing camera Whoa. stuff now? Yeah. We don't want fancy graphics or anything. We use fingers around here. Yeah, that's <laughs> so, cheaper. <laughs> yes, and easier and faster. And So the first on, yes. thing on the list, we've got to talk about this. Jeff Gordon, vice chairman. Are you sitting for this? Of Hendrick Motorsports. I'm sitting. Whoa. 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 Yeah, so that's pretty Jeff huge. Jeff Gordon, NASCAR legend, three-time champion of the sport. Or is it four-time? What is he? Four-time champion. He's four-time, dude. He, Come on. Yeah, 75-time champion. Whatever it is. <laughs> he um, has been in the Fox Sports booth for the last few years and will not be anymore now with this new position. So uh, this is going to change the way we watch racing. Now, I can't help but wonder, is it Clint Boyer's fault? You know, <laughs> we could blame him. We could. We blame him for a lot of stuff anyway, because a lot of stuff he deserves to be blamed for. So, yeah, why yeah. not? Hey, one year was enough. I'm, I'm done. That's it. <laughs> can't, can't do any more with this guy. That's uh, it. I'm out of here. Honestly, he has been a stakeholder in Hedrick Motorsports for a very long time, and I was kind of thinking about this. It's a little weird to think about it this way, but... You know, Rick is not getting any younger. He may want to retire, step down, whatever, uh, release the reins over to someone else. And there wasn't that person, you know, to, to have that stability for the company. It's like 500 people. And as an employee, as a company, you want that stability. And I think Jeff brings that uh, to Hendrick Motorsports. Yeah. And now, of course, uh, Rick Hendrick's uh, son-in-law, Marshall Carlson, is also involved with the team uh, and is kind of going to be running point as well. So it's going to be Jeff and Marshall Carlson kind of right underneath Rick Hendrick. Uh, so right, this, right. Is, this is big, though. I mean, this is kind of taking us into the next generation. Because, yeah. Because, like you said, Rick's not getting any younger. A lot of these other car owners are not getting any younger. And now we're starting to kind of infuse the sport with, you know, legendary names from the sport like Jeff Gordon Jr. is talking about getting in with Junior Motorsports right. uh, into the Cup Series. You've got uh, Michael Jordan, Denny Hamlin, co-owning 2311 Racing. You've got uh, Justin Marks sitting there with Pitbull, and Tony Robbins is talking about buying in a track house as well. Uh, there's just a lot of uh, a lot of celebrities and a lot of new names coming into the sport, and uh, it's a pretty exciting time to kind of watch things as they're changing live in front of us. Did you say track house and Justin Marks? Did any there was something I, yeah. I vaguely remember happening this week? In fact, I I think I texted you wow about it. Oh, oh yeah, so that? much wow! I forgot. That's right. Yes. Something yes. Ganassi related? Uh, well, I mean, not anymore, I guess. <laughs> That's true. That's true. <laughs> so for those who are living under a rock this week, uh, so yeah, <laughs> Trackhouse sent out a media note saying, Wednesday, 2 p.m., we're going to have a huge announcement, big, massive announcement. Right. And we're like, okay, yeah, sure. That means they either bought a charter, they got a new sponsor. Yeah, as a, as a car. As a primary for three and secondary yeah. for like five right whatever, you know and it, it'll be like bob's hamburgers deal. or something yeah nature's bakery and then they'll skip out on the check and, uh, <laughs> so you're like man you know whatever hey well this thing comes up and they announce it and holy crap they have yeah. Chip Ganassi racing it's huge so, i mean yeah wow Chip it's... Ganassi racing as far as the nascar cup series goes is no longer a thing Right. Well, at the end of the year, but yeah. Right, but it's no longer a thing. So they're also saying they'll keep Daniel Suarez the driver of the 99, yeah. which will be one of their two cars. The second driver will be announced at a later date. And the Chip Ganassi Racing Team has two drivers currently, Kurt Busch and Ross Chastain. Yeah. They're being looked at as the top candidates to, to drive that second car, but nothing has been si signed or finalized. And uh, the driver search is still ongoing as well. So if they find somebody else, uh, those two guys can be out of a ride totally. 
Yeah, this is, I mean, this was huge. This was earth shattering, mind blowing, almost like the Jeff Gordon thing, but we kind of knew that was about to happen. Yeah, we've with, been with hearing Jeff. hints over the last few years that that was where it was yeah. going. Uh, but this, this is out of left field. Yeah, and this was a very well kept secret because this there were not many rumblings going around about anything with. This. And I get the sense that Chip, I mean, this was not he did he said he wasn't putting the team up for sale. It just kind of yeah. Justin met with him and it worked. Yeah, and of course Justin was involved with the Xfinity Series team a few years ago. Uh, before they kind of pulled that operation after the DC Solar fiasco, uh, but it was Ganassi Marks Racing uh, there for a couple of years. Yeah, and uh, you know, I mean, what five six years later, he's buying out Chip Ganassi Racing. Yeah, uh, this is incredible. And he, uh, Justin, uh, Justin said, I've interviewed Justin. He is a sharp dude. Yeah, he's sharp, and uh, when he has something focused on that he wants uh, to do, he does it, and he does it well. He doesn't do yeah. things. Uh, halfway he does it the full way the right way and we've seen that with the way track house has kind of come out of the gates right and this team has been really good for a first uh, year team uh we've been seeing a lot uh, of good runs out of them and daniel suarez when we really kind of expected them to struggle early on yeah yeah all right well those are two massive stories that we wanted to get out here and and discuss in a public uh, forum here with some video here on youtube we appreciate you uh, uh listening and watching and subscribing and hitting bells and uh, all that fun stuff. We are at youtube.com slash the final app if you're finding us elsewhere. And uh, tell your friends about us. That if, if you've got NASCAR friends and family, yeah, there's the subscribe. Um, Hammer that bell. Tell people about us. We, we really appreciate it, and we are truly humbled by you uh, uh, subscribing and watching us. So uh, we will be back next Seriously, week with you. some more stuff here on youtube.com slash the final app. Thank <laughs> you.